All right, guys. I'm thinking how I'm gonna open up this uh, second part of the video because it was done as a single video. It just ran way too long. I had to cut it in half. It was way too long for you guys. But now I'm gonna show you the muscle suit. So welcome. Moving on. So what I did was I actually revamped the muscle suit, brought it back, and I tried different types of foams this time. Um, so I wanted to try um, kind of something that was light, but not too um, fragile either, not, not something that would tear easily. So I started with like Soma Foma 15. And it, it's very this is very soft and you can see like it tears a little bit easier so it's like way too soft then um i did have a sample of flex foam at three but this is just like way too uh fluffy so it almost looks like a cupcake this sample it's like too fluffy like if somebody would come and touch you they would just feel like it would just like sinking like feel like too much like foam so i settled on soma foam at 25 which is a platinum silicone foam and this was perfect because they actually make um, actually like um, a medical like um, cushioning for um, you know amputees and stuff uh, or if they need like some padding that type of thing so it's very comfortable uh, and it, it doesn't like harm the skin or irritate or anything and it also feels very much like skin which was the thing that I was like after without having to bake foam latex in an oven I wanted I wanted that feel but without the hassle of having to do foam latex so here's the piece um, and this is pigmented in red this is a pec piece and I'm gonna stand up so so if you were to touch this it would feel like actual skin and it has like a nice little weight to it so it's really nice like this stuff is nice i really like it so that's what i went with and i created the first like prototype here that you guys probably saw on instagram and my facebook it has all the main like basic uh vanity like muscles which are called you know like your pecs and your abs and your shoulders and biceps and triceps, forearms, so the whole thing, right? Sculpted it in clay, then made a silicone mold for, for it, and then just like uh, did it in different uh, pieces so that I could do like different, like smaller molds. And then, you know, you end up with like the, all of these like different puzzle pieces that you put together into a muscle shirt. So the next step from there uh, was to make it into something that was easier to put on by yourself. So we had to go with like a double layer. So this one's pigmented in black. A double layer of mesh. So this is the mesh that I'm using, which is like pretty like nice, like breathable four-way stretch fabric. So I'm gonna show you the shirt. So this is uh, one that I already made for someone who wanted it in black. I can pigment these in different colors. There's a hidden zipper here that won't show through your costume. The muscles, they're glued into place. They're not, they're not sewn. They're glued with a special uh, type of glue for silicone. And um, yeah, if you guys go to my Facebook and Instagram, you're gonna see some pictures there. Uh, some like kinda um, with and without pictures with Luke wearing a Spider-Man costume. These are the legs. So these are the big, like nice thighs. Kind of like the same idea as what I showed you uh, from 10 years ago. It's the same principle, it's something to make your legs look a little bit beefier. But then I also worked um, on making those um, caps really pop. So the mesh is, like I was saying, it's a four way stretch mesh. You can see, like, if it's just the one layer. But you can see right through it and it's really nice and breathable so it's the it's the perfect garment to wear underneath your costume so you're not like sweating getting all dehydrated <laughs> except the you know the muscles obviously the regions where you have muscle are gonna be um, a little bit warmer but um, yeah so my uh, whole thing with this is I want to keep it as um, 
versatile as possible so that it can be worn with different types of costumes, not just uh, not just uh, Spider-Man. Um, I do have a leaner version of this, um, like a smaller version that can fit into um, Spider-Man uh, to make him not look so big but more defined. Um, and I'm pretty happy with the results. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, maybe some of you guys are like, I I've seen a lot of comments like, man, just go and work out. Um, uh, just like get the real thing. And it's not like I'm not trying and I'm not encouraging <laughs> all of you to like stop working out. Um, do work out because it looks even better if you have a nice base for it. But um, the reality is like as you get older, it's a little bit more difficult to build like muscle mass and uh, a little bit more difficult with on your metabolism to get all lean so um, the cool thing is I mean you see the mess behind here but if you see like I do have my little gym area set up over here and I have been working out regularly so I'm not as you saw in my thread I'm a big um, uh, believer in you know being healthy and being fit problem is I also love food too much I love it way too much it's like it almost trumps everything sometimes it's like all about the food and the taste and the pleasure of food so um, yeah what I want to do to end this video is I want to show you guys since I already showed you Spidey I'm gonna try on the legs um, on a Deadpool costume to see what that looks like all right guys I'm gonna put this on without any muscle suit first muscle legs so we can take a look at how it looks with just my natural chicken legs No muscle suit. Alright guys, we're gonna take a look at how this looks with a double costume. So and the muscle suit, right? And I'm mainly gonna show you just the legs. So I don't have a help here to zip all the way up. But boom. The legs are the only part that are not uh, padded in this costume. It's tailor made to you, but it's not, it doesn't have padding on the legs. It only has padding on the chest and padding on the, on the shoulders, obviously, but the legs, you know, if you don't have nice definition on your legs, it might not look as, you know, hero proportion as it should. So, you can see the calves there. So, that's what that looks like with a muscle suit. Okay? There you go, guys. I don't know if you can see the outline of every muscle since it's all black on black, but, you know, I'm, I'm pretty, feeling pretty heroic already, you know? Like, nice big shoulders. Nice guns, nice traps, nice, nice triceps, the calves are popping. My friend Luke definitely is a better model for this, but I just wanted to show you guys um, kind of like a generic superhero look so you can Im use your imagination to picture any costume going on top of this. Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you guys want to order a muscle set or a muscle shirt or a muscle muscle pants or the full suit, shoot me an email and I'll give you all the info you need to make your order. And uh, yeah, that's it. Until the next time. Boom. Bye.